Hey, yo, B. What's going on, my dudes? Mr. Say Man is signing back in and shit. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to talk about this dude, um, Seamus' is booking. I don't want motherfuckers to think like I'm going to bash him and not like that. I'm really not going to bash him because I like Seamus. You know what I'm saying? Like, but the thing is, is that it's just how he's booked. You know, it's like they're trying to book him like how they used to book Randy Orton back in um, 2011, 2010, when every match he has to win with a fucking RKO and shit. Or every match this dude got to win, like, come on, with a bro kick. I remember from before, you know what I'm saying, champions from before and shit when they used to be an underdog, and then they rise up to superstardom or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't have to always win with their signature or their trademark move or whatever. Sometimes they win by the by the skin of their teeth. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, examples like, well, like Mikey Whipwreck, Bret Hart. You know, like, <clears throat> excuse me. Dudes like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, they was underdogs and shit. Like, said, like they was getting their ass whipped through the whole match. And then at the end of the match, they just happened to catch their opponent with the victory roll and, you know, their win or whatever. It, 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 it feels genuine. You know what I'm saying? It's like they grab, they grab victory out the jaws of defeat. Not with this dude, Sheamus. This dude, Sheamus, wash the dude up. All right. That's one thing. People be asking me, what the hell does wash up mean? What the fuck does that mean? What do you mean wash him up? That means to beat somebody up aggressively. That means washing somebody up. That's how. That's what we call it in the hood. You know what I mean? In my hood, that's what we call it. We wash your motherfuckers up. But, yeah, shame us to wash your motherfucker up. And then after that, catch a dude with the bro kick, and that's it. Game over. Like, it's like, come on. And it's like, this is every single match. Every match. And it's like, why would I even want to tune in to watch that specific match? Not only that, he's always fighting the same person all the fucking time. If it's not Dolph Ziggler, it's ADR, Alberto Del Rio. Like, come on, give us a fucking break. You know what I'm saying? Let this dude lose sometimes. He doesn't lose the title. Let him lose by disqualification or let him lose by count out sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You don't always have to win every single fucking match. Like, Jesus Christ, you're watering down his fucking character to the fucking fullest. And I, it's like with this dude Schleg that he said, I guess he's down with the Breakfast Club now. But it's like, come on. Like, it, it just get, it's, when it's predictable, that's when the product isn't good. You know what I mean? When it's predictable, you could predict what's going to happen throughout the whole fucking match. There's no suspense. So what the fuck, like, you already know what's going to happen. Yeah, he's going to catch it with white noise. Then after that, boog, boog, boog. But then knock the motherfucking head off with that fucking bicycle kick. Come on, B. These writers need to stop being so fucking lazy. Get their thumb out their fucking ass and come up with something creative. That's your name, creative? Why the fuck y'all keep doing the same fucking thing all the goddamn time? You know what I'm saying? Shame man signing off for right now, B. I'm not bad. Like I said, it's not, I'm not here to bash Sheamus. They just need to build his character a little better than this, man. The fuck? This dude's like Randy Orton of the fuck of fucking 2012, man. Fucking bullshit. Peace out, motherfuckers. Yeah.